Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another episode on my keto journey. It's been an amazing seven weeks, but I'm here to bring you my sixth week updates. Week six was pretty uneventful. I didn't really get too much in the kitchen. I just wasn't hungry at all this past week. So I didn't bother myself, you know, trying to cook anything. I did, however, manage to lose one pound. And to me, one pound is progress. Any loss whatsoever, I see as progress because it has always been very difficult for me to lose in the past. So I'm celebrating my one pound, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Although I didn't do a lot in way of cooking, I brought you guys this cauliflower keto swallow. It's very easy to prepare and the texture and taste is very similar to pounded yam. In my opinion, this is the best keto swallow. Stay tuned for meal prayer. The first recipe I'm showing you is the cauliflower keto swallow. For this recipe, you would need a medium head of cauliflower, some psyllium husk, a blender, a muslin cloth or a cheesecloth. I'm going to put a link in the description box to where I got my psyllium husk and my muslin cloth. The first thing you want to do is to cut up your cauliflower into smaller florets so that your blender can handle them easily. Once that's done, load the cauliflower into your blender and blend it till smooth. You then want to take your muslin cloth or muslin bag and squeeze out the excess water. I'm removing about 95% of the water content here. Once that's done, return into an empty bowl, add in one tablespoon of psyllium husk and mix well. Now it's time to put in the cauliflower into the microwave for five to six minutes only. I've brought out my cauliflower from the microwave and if you could see this texture live, it's exactly like pounded yam. I'm having mine with Ogbono soup that was just freshly prepared. What would you have yours with? Today, I've added a bonus clip. A lot of people have been asking me what they can drink on keto. I generally drink either Pepsi Max, Diet Coke, or this drink here. It's made with red hibiscus leaves. It's also called either Zobo or Sorel. To make this drink, I'll be using 1.5 liters of boiling water. 35 grams of hibiscus leaves, half a cup of allulose sweetener, a quarter of a cup of ginger, and I'm going to be using some strawberry chunks in my drink. There's really no wrong way of making this drink. All you have to do is put in your boiling water into a bowl, add in the hibiscus leaves, ginger, the allulose sweetener, stir, and then you'd want to leave to steep for a minimum of 30 minutes. I left mine for three hours. Once that's cooled down, I'm going to stir it and then using the sieve, separate the liquid from the leaves. I'm now adding in my strawberry chunks and my drink is ready. You can have this with ice cubes or without. I love mine with ice cubes. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe and like button. 
see you again next time bye